My name's Matthew, and today we're going to be walking you around this incredibly special 2016 Arbath 595 Competizione. And I say it's incredibly special because it's probably, or arguably, the most interesting and maybe even the best 595 Arbath in the whole of the UK. This car has had over 33,000 pounds spent on modifications, upgrades, improvements since new. So the total price of this car, if you include all of the added bits and the fact that actually originally it's a very special car, is over 70,000 pounds. Now, the car is a 595 Competizione. It is fitted with the performance pack, so it has got the performance pack changes. That was a 2,400 or 2,200 pound cost option from new. However, if you speak to a Fiat dealer, you will find out that this car is also fitted with something called the Nürburgring pack, which means it's got slightly uprated suspension, different gearbox, so on and so forth. And you need to speak to Fiat to get that detail. And by all means, there are so many changes on this car that I can only give you a snapshot in this short video, but I encourage anybody that has some intrigue and interest in this vehicle to pick up the phone and call me. I've got all the bills, the list of changes, detailed pictures of every part that's been added to the car. It is so exciting and so special. So I'm gonna start at the nose of the car and I'm gonna give you a sort of a, a snapshot of all of the amazing features. The color, Rosso Scuderia. This is Ferrari's Formula One car red. Not Rosso Corso, which is their road cars. The Formula One red is slightly brighter, so the cameras for television can pick up the, uh, you know, the, the, that shine of red when it's on television. So really important, Rosso Scuderia. All of the competition accents, that's the inserts to the grill, this amazing front splitter section, all of it has been bespokely remanufactured in carbon fiber. That's all been done for this car, none of this is a Fiat option, it's all bespoke. Carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber sort of center grill splits there. It's just absolutely incredible. Now we'll move down the passenger side. The car comes with two sets of wheels. So it comes with its original set of wheels fitted with race tires or track tires, a road legal track tire that is. Um, and then it has this set of wheels. Now I've spoken to the gentleman that did all of the work to this car and he is an absolute just advocate for detail. Now these wheels were commissioned specifically for this car. They are cold forged and designed by BBS and made, as I say, specifically for this car. They were over 6,000 pounds from new. They are, there are no repeats. The gentleman that did all of this worked alongside BBS and had these made in order to have them look a little bit like a 360 Stradale wheel and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're almost highly polished, but you can see they say forged, it's all etched into the wheels, and they're, as I say, a completely bespoke set of wheels. Absolutely stunning. The beautiful red Brembo calipers there on the big front brakes, and a really nice nod here. If you see this word here, it says 300. 300, in the Arbath community, 300 is a Japanese Arbath tuning company, and if you know your, you know, your information, if you know your Arbaths, you'll know that they are probably the best tuning company for Arbaths in the world. Again, there's lots of bespoke 300 items fitted to this car. Let's go back to carbon fiber. Bespoke carbon fiber, mirror casings, the door triangles in carbon fiber, the rear centers between the door and the rear quarter glass here, all in carbon fiber. If I open the door, go in and have a look. I mean, you don't have to look at this car for long to realize that there is very little standard R bath in here. Everything is bespoke. That incredible gear selector, all completely bespoke for this car, all adjustable, all designed to make driving this car that much more enjoyable. Now it is not a track hardened car. This car is beautiful on the road, but it is amazing on track as well. These seats, the Sabelt Carbon Fibre Competizione seats, and I'll run through some more details about what's going on underneath the car as well. So there's a logo at the front that says KW. The car has completely bespoke KW suspension, all adjustable, all on poly-bushed 
um, bushes. The car has just been set up beautifully for fast road. Again, another little nod to 300 on the back of the car, and there's some more lovely details from 300 internally. And then we'll move around the back of the car. And I just, while we're on carbon fiber, again, completely bespoke to this car, full carbon fiber rear diffuser section, all been remanufactured for this car. This project was probably one of the most over-engineered labors of love that I've ever seen on a car. Now moving into the boot, 300 strut brace across the boot lid, across the boot floor there. Again, with these bespoke settings here for the say belt harnesses. So if you are driving this on track, you can connect your harnesses beautifully and safely in through these 300 strut brace connections, through the holes in the driver's seat and lock yourself nice and safe into that seat for track driving. You've even got this lovely little bar here for your GoPro if you do want to film any track driving in this car. It's just all the detail. And here, another lovely feature. The backs of the rear seats also finished in carbon fiber, all designed to match the weave exactly in the front seats. That is the attention to detail that went into putting this car together. A lovely little nod, a say belt pull on the rear of the boot to bring the tailgate back down. We do have privacy glass to the rear of the car as well. Again, some more carbon fiber. And I'm just gonna jump in but before I do the interior, I just need to run you through, if I can open it, some of the changes under the bonnet. So I'm gonna ask the cameraman to just very quickly follow me and I'll try and be as quick as I can to show you as much as I can while we're here. But if you have a look, so many changes. All of the carbon fiber air and induction parts on this car were again, bespokely made for this car by Forge. They're a British carbon fiber company. We've got this lovely heat blanket over the turbo to stop the turbo overheating. And that leads us beautifully to this unbelievable 24 karat gold film on the underside of the bonnet there because the turbo and its blanket still heat the engine up so much or heat the, sorry, heat the bonnet up so much that the engineers when they were building this car realized that they needed to cool it somehow. And that's where we have this. This is the same technology that's around the engine bay in a McLaren F1 supercar. I'll just drop the bonnet, take you back to the interior, and we'll go through some of the details inside. Of course, as you can imagine, you're probably gonna wanna turn these cars on. The car is fitted with the Arbath Monza exhaust, so it sounds exquisite carbon fiber steering wheel, carbon fiber 12 o'clock marker and an Alcantara rev counter cover. And then just everything in here is so beautifully set up for driving. This is one of the lovely details. These carbon fiber bucket seats hold you beautifully. And then this gear selector over here, as I say, I've got all of the details. If you wanna know the specifics about this gear selector, there's too much to touch on in this video but it's all adjustable. If you want the gear selector to be slightly closer to you because that's where you're comfortable on a track, it can be done. You've got every adjustment you can think of to make the gear throw shorter, things like that. It is so, so good. Inside the car, it's actually a very highly specified Arbath on its own. You've got the Beats by Dre uh, inbuilt stereo. You've got the beautiful infotainment system in here and the lovely digital cockpit in front of me. You have also got climate control, which is again, a nice touch. So I'm gonna switch it off. You've got these lovely, sorry, Arbath aluminum pedals as well, but I'm gonna switch it off. I'm gonna jump out and summarize the car for you. As I say, I genuinely implore someone to pick up the phone and call me because there are so many details on this car that I just cannot fit in this video. But it really, truly is probably the most special, most interesting Arbath 595 I've ever seen. My name is Matthew. I hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching.